Hi everybody, I'm Megan Fester and I chose the document Quakers Executions of Myth and History and I chose this document because the name just really caught my eye and the, um, I asked myself why would people want to be executing Quakers and generally when I start my research I like to ask those basic knowledge questions. Um, you know those basic questions that we've learned from uh, grade school in you know high school or even in our bachelor's degree you know what is a Quaker because um, we're all so busy in our daily lives that you know sometimes those little details slip out and so I um, I like to use for the encyclopedia website Brit Britannia not as a scholar resource but just as these basic questions just to get a reminder of some things um, so basically, a Quaker is a member of the Society of Friends. It's a religious group that started in the 17th century. So there's that little bit of knowledge just to help you out through the basis of this um, video. And <clears throat> it's this document is just so um, interesting and it's, it takes place in the Massachusetts Bay Colony um, in 16... 59 to 1661 and it talks about how Quaker missionaries um, began to arrive in Massachusetts and wanted to spread the news of what they of what they believed of their religion and the Puritans just didn't like this you know they um, the document kind of compares to the Salem witch scare and in the document it says the Quaker executions of 1659 to 1661 have come to rank with the Salem witch scare as a prime example prime example of Puritan intolerance so another document that I had found was from the Cambridge University Press it is by a professor from Yale University E. Brooks Hollowfield, and it's called On Toleration in Massachusetts. Um, the day that it is talking about is in December of 1676, so that's a little bit out of the time period of the original document that we're analyzing. However, I do think it is still relatable to the research because it is from a minister of the Church of Christ in Charlestown, so it does give a good insight in what's happening in the Massachusetts Bay Colony. Um, we see in this document that they suppressed Quakers and Anabaptists, so they were highly intolerant of other religions, um, and it gives a pretty gruesome detail about how they whipped them and cut off their ears because they were obnoxious Quakers. So that's pretty funny in fact, you know, because they're being obnoxious, let me just cut off your ear, which, you know, that's not something that we generally do today. I hope not, but <laughs> um, I hope people don't do that, but we don't do that. We don't really see that. And um, so the whole document is just interesting in that the Quakers, once um, the, th the main three have died, William Robinson, Marmaduke Duke Stevenson, and Mary Dyer, they saw, the other Quakers had saw them as martyrs for the Quakers and they um in their message did not cease as the document says they just kept going and that is basically you know what's happened in the founding of America you know we had one obstacle after another but you know we overcame and we became the United States of America and as one nation and so I think that's really cool to see that correlation um and then another document and point that I want to bring up is that Quakers were just not persecuted in the religious aspect. Um, in this document, document by Jeffrey Plank, Quakers as political players in early America, um, this document brings up a point um, that they were persecuted for their political beliefs as well. And um, this document mentions Mary Dyer um, and how she was so in tune with the political um, realm and how they were persecuted. So, I mean, 
it was the Puritans were just highly intolerant of the Quakers and they suppressed them in several ways but how, however they didn't stop what they believed um thanks for listening i'll see you next time bye guys bless you all